On the internet, things are not always as secure as they seem. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. <laughs> Folks, we have to have a talk about Heartbleed. It's a cool sounding name given to a serious security flaw that many major websites are scrambling to fix, including Amazon, Yahoo, and Google. And it means we will have to refresh our passwords for many websites. Explaining Heartbleed can get pretty technical, but here's a simple way to think about it. When you're on a website entering in your secure information, like a password or credit card info, there's a little padlock icon near the URL to let you know the website is encrypted and your data is private. Well, there's this open source system that many sites have been using for encryption. It's called OpenSSL, and it had a leak. Someone could trick a server into sharing the encrypted data and even share the keys to unlock the encryption. It's believed that about two-thirds of websites were vulnerable to this flawed security system. And what's worse is that the problem has existed for the past two years and security experts had no idea. If someone has been taking advantage of this bug to steal info, it leaves no trace. There are no fingerprints left behind, so websites don't even know if they were compromised. That's comforting. So what can you do? I mean, besides get angry at the internet. Well, the smart thing to do is to wait for websites to announce that they have patched the problem. Then you can change your password. Big sites like Yahoo and Google have fixed the issue, but not all smaller sites may have plugged the leak just yet. Also, keep a close eye on your banking statements for any fraudulent activity, which you should always do anyway. Let's move on to a different kind of privacy, Facebook privacy. The social network has admitted that sometimes its privacy settings can be confusing, so it's making some changes. If you haven't touched your privacy settings in a while, you'll get a pop-up with a little dinosaur asking you to double check your settings in case you didn't realize you've been making all your posts public. And on the Facebook iOS app, you may have noticed that the audience selector, which was on the lower right corner, is now clearly visible on the top of your status form. Facebook will also add more descriptions to what public means on the desktop drop down menu. And as more of us watch video online and cut the cable subscription, there's another streaming video option making its debut. Sesame Street Go offers on-demand access to hundreds of full-length episodes of the classic children's program, and it can be accessed on any device at sesamego.com. Sesame Street Go is brought to you by the number four, because it'll cost you $4 a month. That's your tech news update. Head to CNET.com for more details on these stories. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.